Good morning, honey. Good morning. Oh, I was only greeting my honey. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, November 5th, 2019. And today's gospel comes from St. Luke, chapter 14, verses 15 to 24. Okay. And uh, this gospel today, we're, we're in the month of November, right? So what is the theme of November? Saints. A what? Saints. <laughs> okay. Uh, commemorating our beloved dead. So it's the month where we try to remember our beloved dead. And it's also a good time of the year to talk about death, to talk about the ultimate um, meaning of life, to talk about the last things of life, right? or the last portion of this journey that we call life. And what are those three last things, basically? Where do we end up uh, uh, after this journey in life? There is, yes, Shabbat? Heaven or hell or purgatory, purgatory right? Okay, so those are, those are going to be the uh, recurring themes of this month of November for the Gospels. So today, we are going to try and understand uh, one Gospel uh, from St. Luke where our Lord tells a story. Or a parable. So it's a little long, so, uh, but it's good to read the whole thing. So let's start. One of those at table with Jesus said to him. So remember yesterday he was uh, in the house of a leading Pharisee. right? So he was having some kind of uh, meal in, uh, in a party hosted by the Pharisee. Now Jesus said, blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, sorry, Jesus replied to him by telling a story. A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servants to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen and I'm on my way to evaluate them. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have married a woman and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master, saying, all of those you invited couldn't make it. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servant. Uh-oh, let's, let's not disappoint that little girl. Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, Go out to the highways and hedgerows and make people come in that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. What is our Lord telling us here? What is our Lord reminding us here? What do you think? First, this great this, this master goes out to invite the special guests. And then, what did they do? They gave excuses. They gave excuses for not honoring the invitation of Jesus. Okay? Not honoring the invitation of the Master. And so our Lord said, Well, then go out and invite those who were not initially, those who were not initially part of the guest list, and just go out there and invite everybody. What does this tell us? This tells us that God invites all of us, everybody, to be part of His great banquet in heaven. To be part of this royal, grand, kingly um, um, banquet that uh, we will be having eternally in heaven. Something that's fit for 
kings and queens and royalties. That's the kind of image that our Lord wants us to be reminded of. <clears throat> that the dinners that the Pharisees were, <clears throat> were uh, hosting are nothing compared to that great feast that will be perpetuated in heaven. And all of us are invited. All of us. No exception. There's no exception. All of us are invited. Now let's think about this for a moment. Do we realize that we have been issued an invitation? We too have been issued an invitation that we have to be part of that, of that dinner, of that big party that God has prepared for each and every one of us. And what is that party? What is that party we're talking about? Huh? What is that party we're talking about in heaven? That party is really to be in the company of the king. Yes? That party has to do with the beatific vision. That party has to do with being in, in the presence of our great king. Okay? In heaven forever. But there is a requirement to be there. And what is that requirement? How can we be part of that party? How can we go to heaven? Well, we need to wear our wedding garment. Okay, that's one, that's one thing. But what is the bigger picture besides being in a wedding garment? Yes. Shavi. Huh? We have to be saints. Yes. Okay? We have to be saints to go to heaven. Right? We have to be in the guest list. Okay, in the list of the saints, so that we will merit going to heaven. And that that guest list that Jesus is talking about here is a list of the saints, a list of those who who uh, have have merited heaven. Now, but what I want to focus in here is this: many times we give excuses. Maybe we know, oh yeah, in the back of our heads, oh yeah, I need to go to heaven. But you know what? Not today. Not now. Because now I have to attend to my school work and it's more important than praying. Oh, now um, I have a project to do and uh, sorry, I cannot uh, uh, go to Mass. Or, uh, or now I, uh, I have a very important business to attend to and therefore I cannot uh, do my usual devotion so I cannot pray. If we make those excuses, every day we're acting like these guests who do not really care about being part of that great feast. They care more about their own selfish affairs. Okay? They care more about their own selfish affairs. <clears throat> the reminder here for us is that this invitation of heaven is happening not in one great scheme it is happening every day it is happening in every little chore little activity that we do every day of our lives from the moment we wake up in the morning to the time we go to bed god is issuing this invitation to us all the time okay? all the time he always wants to remind us that the things we do, the things we do, no matter how big, no matter how small, okay, have to be done with heaven in view. They have to be performed with a view towards going to heaven and leading to heaven. If not, if not, and if we forget that that is part of the invitation, then all we're doing is giving excuses. All we are doing is preferring our own little projects, our own selfishness, our own indulgences, rather than honoring the invitation to go to heaven. Okay? So let's keep this in mind. Let's keep this in mind. There is always that banquet in heaven that we cannot get distracted with the affairs of this world. 
We cannot allow our affairs in this world to distract us from that great feast that is heaven. Okay? And in fact, we have to convert everything we do here on earth as a manner of preparation for that great feast. Okay? That is the goal. Heaven is the goal. And let us not lose sight of that every day. Okay? And let us not make excuses for not stepping closer every day to the goal of getting to heaven. Okay? That's it for us, folks. Have a good day, everybody. Oh, hi, Jonathan. I got a classmate from, uh, huh? got a classmate from Claret. Oh, how many years ago? Hey, Jonathan, were you at the reunion? Either here in the U.S. or in the Philippines? I wasn't able to go to both, so. <laughs> hey, Joe, Joe, this classmate of mine is a very good drummer. Yeah, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan, I got a, a son who's a drummer like you. Anyway, have a good day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.